What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X, and I know you haven't seen me in a couple of weeks. That's because I've been on vacation with my family, and after I got off vacation, I've just been really busy catching up with work, but I am back. So you guys can expect videos as normal now that we are back into the swing of things. Uh, speaking of vacation, I went to Disney World. I had a great time. It's nice to kind of unplug from everything and just enjoy my family and enjoy just being away from everything. It was uh, really relaxing, really nice. I will be sure to include my vlog style videos on that trip. Over the next couple of weeks, I will be editing those and posting those to my personal channel. So I will be sure to link to that in the description if you're interested in that. The reason we're here today though is to talk about the new Verizon over the air update bringing the HTC One M8 to Lollipop. I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Most of you that watch this channel are probably S off, bootloader unlocked, and you have your phone rooted. So it can be kind of pesky getting to the over the air update. So for most of you, you would have to go back to complete stock and then you could accept the over the air update. And there are easier ways to do that. There's actually an RUU file that is just Basically, it's just an EXE, so you click it, it opens up, and it'll actually flash your HTC One M8 to 5.0.1 rooted with the stock recovery. Now, if you want to keep your custom recovery, you can actually flash a ROM. That's what we're going to do today. I'll be sure to include a link to the custom RUU that gets you to 5.0.1 Lollipop rooted in the links below. Before you flash the ROM, you want to make sure that you've updated to the Lollipop firmwares and radios. There is a method on that, and I've already made a video on how to flash firmwares and radios to the HTC One M8 on Verizon, so I'll be sure to include a link to that in the description. So make sure you check out the description before you flash this ROM. Anyways guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so once you have finished installing the firmware and radios uh, via the link in the description, you'll head to this link, which will bring you to the RKDN ROM 5.0.1 Build 1. This ROM is based on the over-the-air update from Verizon. Uh, for the official Lollipop Sense 6 ROM. Now, there are a few things that have been changed here. It has been debloated, so you don't have all of that unnecessary Verizon stuff. Most of the unnecessary extra applications have been removed here, so it's a pretty clean build. It's also been pre-rooted, so if you're a root junkie like me and, you know, of course, Tom Sargent, uh, then you will want this ROM. We'll scroll down to the download link. Okay, you'll download the ROM itself. Then we'll go ahead and boot into recovery. Okay, so to enter recovery, we're just going to reboot our phone. Let's go ahead and hit restart, and then hold volume down. Okay, and then we will go to recovery. Hit the power button to select. That's going to bring us into Team Win Recovery Project. Okay, so from here, you'll go to the install button and just verify that the ROM is present. Uh, RKDN 5.0.1 B1.zip. Go back, go to wipe, and we'll go ahead and wipe, uh, swipe to wipe, data cache in Dalvik. Once everything's been wiped, we'll go ahead and install the ROM itself. Now, G apps are included, so you don't have to flash those separately. We'll just flash the ROM. So choose that, and then swipe to flash. Since I've already got it installed, I'm just going to go back and reboot the phone. Now, the first reboot did take several minutes. It even took, it seemed like, up to 10 minutes to reboot on the first to boot up. So don't worry if it doesn't boot up right away. It's just reconfiguring everything. It's basically like you're booting up the phone out of the box for the first time. Okay, so we have booted into the new ROM. We're gonna head into settings and about. We'll go into software information. You guys can see we're running Android 5.0.1 and HTC Sense version 6. Now the software Build number is actually the ROM build number, the RKDN 5.0.1 build 1. Okay, so you can see that we still have blink feed here. And as you guys can see, it's really snappy, really fast. It runs really smoothly here. You guys can see the big Amazon application here. I was kind of surprised to not see the lollipop animation going into the app drawer. If we pull down the notifications, you guys can see that we now have the lollipop style notifications where if you just pull down, uh, then you get just your time and date and whatever notifications. If you pull down again, you get your settings. And if you pull down with both fingers, you get your settings uh, from one swipe there. Okay, so other than the notifications panel, uh, the only other real changes here in the Lollipop version of Sense6 is some uh, changes to the lock screen and the notifications here. Uh, those are from Lollipop there. Also, if we hit the Recents key, you guys can see that we have the new Recents uh, featuring the Google search bar from the recents. Other than that, you have some 
uh, secure settings and Bluetooth, and a few other little features. If you go into settings, sound and notification, you will notice these app notifications here. You can actually set up notifications on a per app basis, which is pretty neat. And then one other thing that I did notice when using this ROM is that if you do open up, uh, like say you open up a video in YouTube, and particularly like a music video, you can actually turn the screen off and it will continue to play in the background, which is pretty awesome. So before in the YouTube app, when you're listening to music, if you turn the screen off, then everything goes off. Uh, so this is pretty cool for if you're driving down the road, you don't want your screen to be on wasting battery, but you can still listen to the music in the background. So another thing that was included in this particular ROM was the quick boot. Uh, this allows you to reboot quickly to recovery. Uh, you guys saw earlier that to get to recovery, I pressed and held the power button and then uh, hit restart and then pressed and held the volume down button. You don't have to do that anymore to get into recovery with this ROM. You can just open up Quick Boot and go to recovery from there. You can also go to the bootloader or just reboot the phone. Of course, you guys can see that Super SU and Root are built right into the ROM. You do have a file manager. Uh, also, ES File Explorer was included. And it looks like we have uh, CloudX and Cronus. Well, guys, that about wraps it up for this ROM review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.